Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to get all these race logos and also different versions of it too onto your own outfit. So you can choose any of the racing suit logos and I'll show you all of that in this video. So I hope you do find this helpful and I hope you enjoy. If you do, a like would be much appreciated. Also, if you want to, you can subscribe. That's all up to you though. Also, quick shout out to Mr. Lawrence on YouTube. He did just do a video on this the other day, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. Um, but before we get into it, shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. So to start off with this video, first of all, you want to come to any clothing store on the map and then make sure you put all your money in the bank and you will need this much. From here though, you want to go ahead and equip the outfit you'd like to keep as by doing a glitch, it will delete only your saved outfits. And if you want to, just delete all your saved outfits yourself just to make sure the glitch goes smoothly. But they will get deleted regardless. From here, open up your pause menu, go down to swap character. In this menu here, your main character needs to be a male and it needs to be on a left slot. If it isn't, this won't work for you. Now make a new female character in the right slot. If you get this alert, accept the alert. And then in the menu, you'll have to set it to a female and then hit save and continue. Name the character anything, take a photo and then you'll load into a public session. By the way, I want to let you guys know if you'd like any of your own modded accounts that come with modded outfits on them and plenty of cash and RP, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion and almost all of the modded accounts now are 100% cash so no need for extra cars and deluxos. They also offer account boosts which is amazing because you can get an already existing account boosted with tons of money and RP. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable modders. I'll leave a link to the website in the description below and also the pinned comment. Also don't forget you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order for a limited time only. Once you spawn into the session you want to open up your map, see if you have any clothing stores. If you don't just find a new session and preferably an invite only session. Now in the new session you should have clothing stores on your map so just go to one. In the clothing store what you want to do is just head over to the front desk and from here go onto air racing suits and you want to go for the shark racing suit. So this one here. Over this after you have this you want to go to the accessories menu. Now go on gloves and then equip the light woodland armoured. So these here. Once you have these you want to back out this menu and then you want to open up your interaction menu. Go to style, accessories and remove your helmet. Now go and save this in slot number 2. Now that you have this saved you just want to open up your interaction menu. Take the easy way out just to force the game to save. From here open up your pause menu, go down to creator and start it up. In this menu just create a race and then make a new land race. For the race details, the title, description and photo, they don't matter, uh, so they can be anything. What does matter though is you need to set the max players to 3 and set a route type to point to point. From here you can choose a supercar if you want to and then warp to the airport. Over here just go onto a placement and you want to place the trigger anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now what you want to do is you want to place checkpoints until the race is at least 0.62 miles long. So until the red warning icon at the bottom right goes away which is around 0.62 miles. Once you've done that just test the race. On this alert just accept it and then open up your pause menu, go to online, start up, choose character. Now in this menu here what you need to do is just delete your female character so make sure it's your female you're deleting not your main character. Now from here what you need to do is if you're on new gen you want to hover over your second character on the right 
and then you need to join someone in an online session in a different targeting mode to you and this should take you to story mode but if you're on old gen or pc just back out straight to story mode from here just open up your pause menu and then start a new online invite only session Just spawn in with the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning, so from here go save this at the bottom, so to slot number 20. Once you have it saved from here, all you want to do is head up to the outfits racing suits and then choose any of these race logos that you want on the outfit. From here open up your pause menu, go to online jobs, play job, go down to bookmarked. Then head on to missions and start up it's a g thing so i'll leave a link to this in the description you will need to bookmark it on social club in this menu set a clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up now in this menu on owned outfit scroll one to the right and then ready up Now in the mission you just want to go over to any of your apartments and then go to the wardrobe inside of your apartment. In here just go ahead and save your outfit and then also if you want to you can change the pants in the mission or you can change them outside of the mission and then just quit the job after you've done so. From here you can go ahead and customise your outfit however you want it. Um, I'll also show you quickly how to make a ripped shirt with this or add a belt to it if you want to. If you want to add a ripped shirt or belt just go onto utility vests and then equip number 43 the peach plate carrier then go ahead and save this to slot number 1. From here head down to outfits heist coveralls and then equip any of the last 4. Now go to the telescope on the pier. Over here, run by the telescope, spam right on the d-pad, then open up your interaction menu, equip the outfit you just saved, then run away and you'll notice the gas mask merges onto it, so from here, go to the mask store. Now go onto any menu and then save this in slot number 1, so overwrite the save. Just like this, once you've done so, you want to open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go missions and start up a titan of a job. Now if this happens when you spawn in and you have this weird mask, uh, you will have to restart your whole game, so quit GTA, restart and then try again. What should happen though is you should have the gas mask on and no utility vest. Uh, and that means it has worked, so if you had that, just go to an ammunition store. Now I did actually restart my game and then do it properly and save it, um, but I forgot to record that part, so, so I'll just reenact it and go over it again for you. So obviously you would have a gas mask on, I don't, but you would, um, and then you'd save it in slot 1, which I already did, um, and then after you do that you just quit the job using your phone. When you load back in, just go to an ammunition store.
In here, go onto the tops menu, head down to vests, and then go for any vest that lets you equip a shirt underneath. Now go onto the vest shirts and go for the white band vest shirt, or the black band vest shirt, or any one. Or if you want, you can equip a belt here, and that will merge onto the outfit. From here though, go into online jobs, play job, go to bookmarked, go missions and startup, it's a G thing, once again. Set the clothing to player safe outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu just scroll one to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Now in the mission just wait a few seconds and then quit the job using your phone or open up your pause menu starter creator. From there you can start up a new online invite only session. When you load into the session, just register as an MC or a CEO and sit inside of any car, so it can be a streetcar or your own car. Then open up your interaction menu. What you want to do is go to your MC or your CEO style and then switch one to the right on style, then one back to the left. Then exit your car and you'll notice you have this outfit now, so go and save it. Now feel free to customize your outfit even further so you can add different jeans or different pants and shoes, whatever you want to add, or add some gloves if you want even, and helmets, whatever you want to do, feel free to customize this as you wish. You can also redo the merge part to merge different race logos onto this outfit, um, so onto the purple vest basically. But yeah, that's the video done, so if you made it this far into the video, comment down below and I'll try and heart your comment. Anyway, thank you for watching, please leave a like if you did find this helpful, have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next one, take care.